Hi, so once you've got the app downloaded from our site and you've copied it to a USB key, plug it into the box and go to File Browser in All Apps. Once in File Browser, you can navigate to your USB key by clicking the Home button, which is below the File Browser tab. You'll see the USB key displayed at the bottom. So select it and go inside, and then you'll see the DP Installer app. Move your cursor down or use your mouse cursor, uh, select it and then you'll be confronted with an install window. Scroll down and choose install and then once installed choose done. OK you can now come out of file browser by pressing the home button on your remote control or the return button. Come out and go into all apps. When you're in all apps you'll see the DP installer icon, it's usually in the top right hand side. So select it and then you'll be met with the following menu. I would remove XBMC first to ensure a really clean install. So choose remove XBMC and then choose uh, yes when prompted with the XBMC remove window. Once that's completed, move down to choose install XBMC. When you select this, the installer will contact our server and download the XBMC app, which is about 50 meg in size. It should take about two or three minutes, depending on your internet speed. And once it's downloaded, it will then prompt to install it. Choose Install from the bottom right-hand side, and once it's installed, choose the option Done. Don't choose the option Open. You'll then be back at the Droid Player screen, and then you can do the final step which is the install the Droid Player add-ons config file. So when you choose to install the Droid Player add-ons folder you'll get a pop-up telling you that it's going to take about 20 minutes and to leave the system open and the app running whilst it downloads. The app will download a file that's roughly 750 megabytes in size now this is the config folder that has all our add-ons and uh, settings in it so that you can begin to watch films and have the shortcuts available on your home screen. Once it gets to 100% of the download, it'll then begin installing the package in the background. So leave the app application open until you see the message that says done. Then you're all set.